Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Trudy Card Frog and today I'll be your host. Today, well, there will be a few announcements. Um, I'll probably make them at the end of the video because I know a lot of people aren't really interested in announcements. But do stay tuned because there are quite a few interesting things. Uh, anyways, so continuing. Here we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box. Holiday Edition. So this is a brand new box. Uh, it came out maybe a couple weeks ago. And uh, this one is to celebrate the holidays, which is, you know, it's nice. I do like some mystery power boxes. Uh, they're not always worth it. They're not always good, but these seem to be worth it. Uh, to me, they were about $50 uh, at Walmart. About. I, I kind of forgot if it's 40 or 50 But anyways, uh, for $50, you get two booster packs. So these are averaged at $5, 10 you know. And two duelist packs, which are also averaged at five dollars. So that's already twenty. One legacy pack. These are usually ten and up on eBay, so that's thirty already. One deck, and the deck is usually about fifteen, especially if it's a good one like this. It might be more. And then you have one mystery item. So you know you're already at forty-five before the mystery item. At this point, it's not that bad. It's really just a question of which pack, which packs you're gonna get, and which deck, obviously. Uh, there are obviously a lot of options. Um, I've watched one video before ordering these. It was Cyber Knight's video, and he got none of the uh, sealed decks, but he did get some decks uh, that were out of the cardboard box, but still sealed in the, the, the pack. Let's say it like that. Uh, he did get two uh, legacy packs instead of just one, and he got one recent pack instead. And he got two duelist packs, and every time it was one Yugi and one Kaiba. So that looked very worthwhile. And the mystery item, well, I'm gonna keep it a mystery for you guys. But the other video I've seen, uh, quickly, quickly seen on Facebook, uh, the person did get one of these. Um, so that would be very nice. Depending on what we get for our... Um, <clears throat> For our oh, and by the way, yes, we are opening two of them because Walmart Canada Online only lets you order two of them at a time. They won't let you order more than two. Oh, okay. So the mystery item here is different than what I saw in the videos. It's a Jumbo Dark Magician card. So you see this? This I don't care for. I have bought many of the boxes in which this came from back in the days it's nice for the people who weren't collecting back in the days but for me it's not worthwhile and here are some packs here's our deck and okay so this is very different from what cyber Knight got let's just say it like that i'm a little disappointed but it's okay we have a Yu-Gi-Oh legendary decks sealed deck this I don't know if it's worth much, uh, it's probably at least, yeah, it's first edition, so you know, it's got some value. I might keep this sealed, actually. I was gonna say, if we get some of these cool sealed decks, I might keep them sealed, but now, I mean, I don't know. So this is far less interesting than what he got, so I'm a little disappointed on that one, but we did get one legacy pack, which is... Invasion of Chaos, it's a pretty good one, so that's like a good $15 at the moment, even if it is the 2017 reprint. These are at least 10 to 15 Canadian on eBay. We have two Duelist packs, not first edition obviously, but uh, Kaiba you can still get some very good ultimate rares, and Yugi, well you get some cool nostalgic Yugi stuff, so that's at least 5 each, so at least there we're at 25, and we have these two packs which... You know, Hidden Summoners doesn't have much in it anymore, but there's still the chance at getting the super rare Ash Blossom, I believe. And Dimension of Chaos, I mean, you can get some ghosts, I believe. So there's still a chance at getting something interesting, but those are not worth more than 5 each. And the deck is definitely more than 10, since it's a first edition, but I wouldn't remember how much uh, sealed, but not in its original box thing. Would go, would go for, because the legendary decks, 
they come in a box of three decks. All three are sealed, but they're all in a box. So if you don't have the box, I don't know how much value you lose through that. And here we have another Dark Magician Mystery Item Jumbo Card. That's just a waste. In the two videos that I've seen before, uh, it was a hanger. A hanger was far more interesting than one of those. And we have the exact same packs. No, wait, we have two Kaibas. Ooh, okay, this this is nice. Kaibas is Kaibas pack is more interesting than Yugi's pack because you can get ultimate rares. We have another one of these. We have another one of these. And we have another Invasion of Chaos. I'm okay with this. And our deck is... It's a different one, okay. Uh, this I will open because it is not worth much. It's the Geargia deck. Uh, the Geargia deck, maybe $10 only. Uh, maybe. I'm not quite sure. I know my local store still has some sealed in box uh, for about 15 but you know, it's it's a store, they always sell decks for about 15 when they're not really readily available decks. But since this is probably not going to get any extra value through time because it's not in its box, I'm going to open this one. Yeah, you guys deserve at least one. And uh, you know, I never purchased this deck when it was uh, released or anything, so this is my first time opening this one. Maybe there's a good card in here. I don't know. I don't have this in my collection, I think, so at least we got it now. Oh, this is an ultra rare Gear Geogger. Gear Geogger? Super rare Gear Geano MK3. Attacker. And then we have, well, that's four foils, so that's that's something. Ratios have changed quite a bit. And then we have a lot of Gear Geo cards. We have doubles of some of them, so that's nice. We have doubles of the gadgets, ancient gear stuff. Jumbo Drill, Minefield. This is not a bad card. Card Trooper either. You know, they have some use. Gear Town, Fishers. Double Summon is not bad. Middle Morph and Gear, G uh, Gear Gigant X. This I've played before quite a bit. I have the foil versions. Uh, but the rest, well, you know you know what? It's, it's not a bad deck. It's just very, very out of date. Uh, but yeah, anyways. We'll get to the packs now, so let's do some Eden Summoner. Let's see if we can get some of those Ash Blossoms. These feel like some European packs, with the way that the uh, the, the seal thing is. It feels like Euro European packs. Yep, these are Euro prints. Last Hope, Preparations, Prank Kids, and Cerulean Sacred Phoenix of Nethys. It's a secret, you know, you get four supers and one secret in every pack. Um, I don't really care for these cards, otherwise, you know, I, I only really want the Ash. I do like the uh, Mayakashi, you know, is this the Mayakashi? No, that's not the Mayakashi. Those are not the Mayakashis, these are the, um, well, what are their name again? Aren't they the Mayakashis? I forgot, but there's the, there's a good, um, well, there's a good zombie archetype in there, and I do like zombies. They're not insanely good, but they're cool. And here we go. They are Mayakashis. This is the main monster of the deck. Uh, you want this as soon as possible in that deck because this is what gets you the whole combo wombo going. Uh, but I think this you summon through another Mayakashi, not f like from your hand most times. Anyways, and goes and match. Goes and match is not a bad. Um, control card, so that's not awful. Uh, would have been nice to get the Ash Blossom though, or uh, get uh, some of the Synchros for the Mayakashis are a little harder to get than the actual starter cards, so that would have been nice. But anyways, on to Dimension of Chaos. Back then you didn't have a guaranteed foil in every pack, so if we get something, we get something, right? That's, that's kind of good. Super Rosh Headlong, uh, this I used to play it in the Oh, we got a foil. Hey, we got a kaiju as well. Okay, I'll go fast. Oh, we got Gradles and Magispectors. Magispectors are seen play nowadays. Uh, got Horn. Uh, in the, um... What, what's the name of the deck again? It's the, uh, True Draco thing? The, 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 the Pendulum one. Anyways, we got a pull. 
that's that's nice. I don't think they were guaranteed back then, so that's a pull. That's that's nice. And we got a kaiju. It's not first edition, but it's still something. It's original print. And we have Super Rush Headlong. I was about to say this. I used to play on um Um not is it Duel Links? Yes, it is. Dual Links. Uh the app game. I used to use Super Rush Headlong on that until I got some better staples. Or, you know, until better staples released. Despot, Super Heavy, yep. Here we don't have any pull at all. We pulled one out of two packs, that's not so bad. We got one pull. It's not a great pull, but it's still a pull. Triple D, Wave Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. It's just a super, but it has cool artwork. And it's a Triple D. You know, the DDs, uh... Some of my friends really like those. One of them still plays them, uh, non-competitively, but still, that's nice. On to the Duelist packs. So, Yugi, what do you have in store for us, Yugi? Yugi boy. Stronghold, Spellbinding, Black, Sword, and Card of Sanctity. Nothing in the Yugi pack. Still, we have three Kaiba packs. If we can pull an ultimate rare, that would be insane. I know the Pot of Greed, even unlimited, is like at least $30 to $40 Canadian. Because, you know, GOAT format loves Pot of Greed. And uh, people want to collect it as the highest rarity available. So that would be nice. If there's a foil, it's the second to last card. So I just switched them and we'll have our foil at the end if it is a foil. There are other ultimate rares in here that are available, and they are very nice as well. Um, we'll just see if we pull anything at all. We don't. It is it is the game, you know, it's the name of the game. But still, we have two more packs. Ultimate rare or bust, or m maybe, maybe ultra. There are a couple ultras in here that aren't so bad. Uh, but, you know, ultimate rare or bust, yearly. Polly again. Petin and nothing. I did collect polymeriz polymerizations and petin when I was a kid when the first Duelist Pack Kaiba came out. So that's that's you know it's a it's a big throwback for me. Duelist Pack Kaiba number three, final of the Duelist Packs. Come on, at least a foil, but please ulti, please ultimate rare. Enraged Battle Ox, Legend, Ring, Force, and we got a foil. XYZ Dragon Cannon. It's not a big pull, but it's still a pull. We'll take it, right? I like the artwork on this one quite a bit. Quite a bit. And Force Raider alternate art as well is nice. But, you know, it's it's nothing insane. We pulled two supers, but nothing insane. And we pulled one kaiju, but I guess I'll just put that in the pile of cards. As they would say. You know what, I'll put the pile of cards with the deck. Bam! Big stack of cards there. Invasion of Chaos. All hopes lay on you. The both of them are from 2017. Let's open them. It hurts me a bit to open these, but uh, in the announcement, you know, I'll talk about this a bit more. Uh, but yeah, these are the reprint packs. They're not as valuable as the original packs, but they are still very nice for collectors, for people who want to open some original. Uh, cards and uh, live some uh, nostalgia through Ojama and Manju, which were quite played actually back then, as well as Mad Dog of Darkness, which was played as well. But no foils, anything. Final pack, come on, everything rests in this one. These can have foils and rares in the same pack, so we really can be lucky. Amphibious. Multiplication, Hero, Stumbling, Compulsory, Nothing, oh man, oh okay, well Compulsory, I guess that's, that's something, if you want to play original release cards for your GOAT, well you have Compulsory in here, but that's that for that, today we only pulled two uh, hits, and uh, even then they weren't very valuable, and then we pulled two decent rares, which were then again not valuable, but you know, compulsory and a kaiju, it's always nice. Uh, so yeah, on to the announcements. Um, anyways, before the announcements, sorry, sorry, pardon me. These I do recommend if you're trying to give a gift to like a new player, 
A newer player would like these because they, they get a deck, they get quite a few booster packs, some of them nostalgic, some of them a little more recent. You can pull some interesting stuff from these, you just need to be very lucky, and uh, I was not lucky. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, back onto the announcements. So, first off, the first announcement. I'm a little sorry, guys. Uh, I was off uh, from YouTube, I guess, for a couple weeks at least. Um, it's been a while since I've posted, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm a little sorry about that. Uh, I should post a little more often now. Um, I was just very busy with work. I was very busy with, uh, with life, you know. Uh, we have a puppy, for those of you guys who don't know, and they are very occupying for us. That's how I got these and these. Oh, sorry. The, the camera was uh, a little off there. Yeah, that's how I got this and these. It's making its teeth. It's getting vocal. So obviously, you know, it's a hell of a cute dog, but it's keeping me busy, keeping uh, the girlfriend busy as well. And, uh, you know, I won't be having as much time to film for a bit, but I'm getting a little more time now, which is good, which is good, which is good. You know, we have a uh, we have some time off for the holiday a bit, so we'll be able to uh, make some content. This video is the first one, but there's also a second video, which is One Piece. Uh, they finally released some cards here in the TCG, and uh, Duncan, which was here previously on the channel a while back for some Pokemon stuff, he's in the video with me for One Piece, because he's a big fan of One Piece just like me. Uh, so yeah. That's coming up. That's already been filmed. It's been filmed like the week after the cards released, but I've been too busy to actually edit the video. Uh, coming home after work, I'm almost sleeping already, so <laughs> it's been a hard time, but <clears throat> that video should come a little bit after this one. And uh, there's also some Pokemon stuff coming up real soon. And then in uh, January, there's some new content as well coming up. Uh, for, you know, Pokemon in general, I believe... I believe there's the Crown Zenith thing coming up soon. Anyways, there's gonna be that. I'm gonna open a few of those because they have some very cool uh, alternate arts and or trainer uh, gallery th stuff. And also, I believe it's the last of the V generation. Then it's coming back to EX in the Scarlet and Violet stuff. So, I'm not too interested in the look of the EX stuff, uh, the old EX stuff was amazing looking, but the new one I don't I, I don't feel too attracted. I might open some I don't know, uh, but I'll keep opening some random collectible Pokemon stuff on this channel. Don't worry, even if I don't like too much the new series, I might buy some of the uh, packs that have some promos on them that look very nice. So you guys will still get some Pokemon action on this channel. But, this brings me to the next announcement, the, the like the third announcement, basically. I kind of mixed one and two together. Um, but yeah, the third announcement, Yu-Gi-Oh! In 2023, we'll be celebrating uh, the 25th anniversary in the TCG. Uh, which is a little weird, because, you know, the, the game started in 2002, so it should technically be the 21st anniversary in the TCG. But... They're releasing the 25th anniversary stuff because the OCG in Japan, the first cards came out in 98. So that's 25 years in 2023. Um, 2023 has some very, very cool uh, OCG content for the 25th anniversary, uh, including a special 25th or, you know, they call it the quarter century rare. Uh, it's a new type of rarity, and because that comes out in the OCG, they decided to bring it out as well in the TCG. So I believe in April or May, something like that, there's like a, a new reprint thing of the um, the old legendary collection. The first one, the, the one with the silver box and the three legendary, uh, well, the three god cards, basically. So that's going to be something I'll be purchasing in high quantity because I am a very big fan of the nostalgic stuff. You know, this shit, this shit gets me going. I don't know why, it just does. It's nostalgia, it's uh, the, the heart of the cards, you know, it's, it's Yugi, it's the original bad boy of the game, you know? Um, well, 
bad boy. Atom was the bad boy. Yugi was the geek. Anyways, uh, but yeah, you know, they're bringing that out, and, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a good stuff for collectors. It's kind of useless for players that don't play the older formats, but for GOAT players, they're going to be happy with getting a chance at uh, original uh, rarity stuff. Uh, anyway, so they're releasing five packs in there. Uh, well, six packs in the special box, but after in July, they're actually bringing out five of the original packs as standalone booster boxes again. These packs will all have a 25th anniversary logo on them, but everything inside is original rarity. There's nothing special in them. I'll be buying a lot of these packs as well, so you guys should stay tuned. But in the uh, special box, the legendary collection box, there will be six packs. There will be Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Rulers, um, Dark Crisis, Pharaoh Servant, and uh, Invasion of Chaos, this pack here. Uh, so yeah, the only five packs out of these six that will release will not include Dark Crisis, but every other pack I've mentioned will be reprinted as standalone booster boxes. For some reason, they excluded Dark Crisis. I don't know. Uh, anyways, so, what is to, you know, what do you have to remember about this? Well, first, I'll be opening quite a bit of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards throughout uh, the year. I'll try to get as much as I can, and I'll try to keep some sealed as well. I just really, really hold these old packs, older sets dear, so that's my goal on that part. Uh, the other thing you have to remember is um, the new rarity is coming to TCG, but not in the packs. It's coming in the promos of the Legendary Collection box. So if you want to get all six of them, you have to buy more than one, because there's only one uh, of that rarity per box. There are six different ones to collect. So, you have to buy at least six if you want each, and you're not guaranteed to get six different every time. So, I'm I'm gonna have to get all six myself. I just feel like it's an obligation or something. It's stupid as hell, but I'm gonna spend a lot of money on that, and I hope you guys will be tagging along for the challenge of getting all six of them. And uh, you guys will also be there in July and or August to uh, see a lot of the nostalgic packs being opened in booster boxes uh but yeah that's somewhat of an announcement so you know last year was pokemon with their uh, anniversary and now it's Yu-Gi-Oh with their anniversary we're gonna be doing more Yu-Gi-Oh once that comes up but we're still gonna do some pokemon in the meanwhile and once that comes up uh we'll be doing some giveaways again yes uh, I have some Korean packs of the original um, Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and Magic or, and or Spell Rulers. Anyways, I have some of those that I want to give away in 2023. I'm thinking of doing that in January, so stick around for that. And uh, once the uh, older packs do come out for 25th anniversary, I just might do a, a single cards. You know, like some singles. I'm going to do a... Um, a giveaway of those so stick around uh, I might do a Pokemon giveaway as well somewhere in the year I don't know when yet I just have to feel inspired uh, but yeah anyways stick around for that sorry for all the uh, announcements it just felt like a good opportunity you know with the holidays and uh, with uh, all the stuff coming up in 23 that you know might as well announce before it comes up uh, so yeah I hope you are going to stick around I hope you are going to participate and I hope to see you guys actively uh, commenting as well because I want some feedback I want to know what you guys want to see most and uh, yeah so Merry Christmas uh, belated Christmas I'm filming this on the 26th uh, but yeah Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas happy holidays to those who don't but still want to feel cheery and happy and uh, for those of you people who just don't care well have a good day and until next time guys and gals it has been a pleasure and ciao I've got a few thanks to give. First, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, sub, bell, comment, share, etc. It really helps. Second, I want to give a big thanks to my friend BuddhaBelly42 for making the animation for the channel's intro. It is much appreciated. Go check him out on his social media accounts. Third, 
but not the least, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me, my channel, and its mission, especially the ones on Patreon. You peeps out there are the ones making this work. On that note, follow me on my other social media accounts, lots of bonus content to entertain you guys and gals, so check it out!